Remember when AI couldn't even spell simple words and images? Well, that era is officially over because ChatGPT's new 4.0 image generator is literally a no-cost replacement for entire marketing teams. Small businesses like yours can now use it to create marketing materials like these and designs like all of these that would have cost hundreds or thousands of dollars to have professionally designed. I've been playing around with this a lot this past month and I'm about to show you seven of my favorite ways to use it that are gonna transform your marketing overnight with pretty much zero budget. Let's start with social media posts. So maybe you wanna do a carousel slider for Instagram or do an infographic for LinkedIn. So used to be pretty impossible to do with AI image generators because just a few months ago, any text in an AI image would just be complete gibberish. But now we've got perfect text, perfect spelling most of the time, and perfect layout. These two images have been making the rounds online because they show just how well the new model shows text. It's pretty elaborate and also pretty close to perfect, and it really opens up the door for creating that professional looking social content. Let me show you a real example here. So I asked ChatGPT to plan out and then make all the slides for an Instagram carousel post about improving your home's curb appeal before selling a home. Look at how clean this is. You know, the text is perfectly readable, the design's consistent across the slides, and it looks like something that you'd pay a social media designer to make for you. You just have to describe exactly what you want, your brand colors, your preferred style, and the exact text that you want to include. And if you're having trouble figuring out what that should be, ChatGPT can help you plan all that out too before you even start making the images. That's what I did here. I just asked it to plan out all five slides. Then once I was happy with the content, I said, okay, now do the first slide, now the next one, and so on. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, you know that I think YouTube is the absolute best marketing play for any service business right now. But the thumbnails, they're really important, and honestly, they're really hard to do right. So if you're not a designer and you don't wanna hire it out, you can get some really good ones now pretty much for free. So my favorite approach is to go to YouTube and just find thumbnails that I like the style of, and then I have ChatGPT create my own version of it. And here's how that works. Okay, so for this one, I uploaded a thumbnail style that I wanted it to mimic. I told it the title of the video, the brand colors to use, and a photo of the creator, and check out what it made. I think it's pretty good. And you can also ask for any refinements to whatever it gives you until you like it. Like in this case here, maybe I'd want it to be a little brighter. And there we go. Now, fair warning here, if you give it your photo and you ask it to put you in the thumbnail, it's usually not gonna look exactly like you, but you've got two options here. Option one, just roll with whatever it creates if the likeness is close enough. Because when your channel's new, they probably most likely won't be able to tell the difference yet anyway. And trust me, this is going to get better over the next year or so. Or you could just do option two, ask it to leave a blank space for you. Then you would just use Canva or Photoshop or have a designer drop your photo in later. Either way, you're starting with a professional thumbnail layout that's designed to get clicks. And that's something that used to take hours of back and forth with a designer if you ever got there at all. So whenever I look at any of my students' current websites, there's one thing that always sticks out like a sore thumb, and that's their logo. They just usually look pretty amateurish and like they've been using it since the internet was brand new. Now, I'm not saying that AI is replacing professional logo designers for major brands anytime soon, but for small businesses that need something decent to start with, or just to bring them into 2025, this is a great way to get a lot of concepts that you can choose between. Let me show you an example for a personal golf trainer. All you have to do is tell ChatGPT your business name, describe the style you want if you know that, specify colors if you have them, or just have it surprise you. You can even upload logos that you found that you like as style references. Look at these options. They're clean, professional, and ready to use. And here's a pro tip. Ask it to create versions with transparent backgrounds so you can put them on any colored surface or graphic. So in about 30 seconds, you can have some logo options that would have cost you at least 100 bucks on Fiverr. One of the things that separates bigger brands from the smaller ones 
is the small guys usually don't have a good enough handle on their design styles to keep things consistent, which you know leads to all their marketing feeling a little scattered. What you really need is a single sheet that contains all of those style elements that you can reference whenever you're creating marketing materials so it all feels on brand. That's exactly what a branding mood board can do, and ChatGPT is perfect for creating one. All you gotta do is tell it about your business, your style preferences, then upload some inspiration images, mention colors and fonts you like, and let it work its magic. What's amazing is how it just pulls everything together into a really cohesive look. You get color palettes, typography suggestions, image styles, and even pattern ideas all in one visual reference. This is the kind of thing that branding agencies charge thousands for, and now you can create it yourself in minutes. And you're just gonna wanna use this as your North Star for all of your future marketing to keep everything looking professional and consistent across the board. Email marketing still has the biggest ROI for almost any business, yes, even in 2025. But to build that email list, you need a lead magnet, right? A valuable piece of content that people want enough to trade their email address for. Problem is your lead magnet really should look at least a little enticing visually if you expect people to opt in for it. You know, let's face it, this lead magnet about email subject lines just looks a little dry. And we can definitely do better. We do all judge books by their covers after all, even though we know we're not supposed to. Since ChatGPT is so good at getting text right now, you can include your entire title, subtitle, and author name, and it's really likely to get it all right on the first try. And as always, you can upload anything that you like as a style reference, whether it's just an illustration style you like or a full-on book cover. And to me, this looks pretty good. It's certainly way more enticing than our original version, right? You can even ask it to create a mock-up showing your lead magnet on an iPad or as a physical book just to make it look even more professional on your website. This tiny detail makes a massive difference in your conversion rates. You know, people see a professional looking lead magnet and they immediately assign more value to it. Okay, this next one is perfect for, you know, graphic designers or anyone selling physical products. So in the past, you had two options to showcase your work, either amateur photos that never looked great or expensive professional photo shoots. Now, you just need to give ChatGPT the image of what you want to showcase and tell it where you want it to appear, whether you know on a coffee cup, a storefront sign, a billboard, whatever. You can even upload an image of where you want your design to appear, and it's gonna realistically blend the elements together. So instead of showing clients flat digital designs, you can show them exactly how their logo would look on a uniform or on their storefront. It's a total game changer for your portfolio and for presentations. One of the best ways to make your website look custom and professional is to use custom icons instead of those standard ones that everyone else is using. These are the icons that come standard with page builders like Elementor, and they're fine, but they're everywhere, which means your site kinda looks like everyone else's. So instead of that, why don't you ask ChatGPT to create custom icons specifically for your services? You can even just describe what you're trying to represent, you know, financial consulting, 24 hour support, whatever your service is, and then ChatGPT can think through what the best icon should be to like visually represent that. And just like everything else we've covered here, if there's a style you like, upload an example and just ask ChatGPT to mimic it. All right, so it did a pretty great job at making the specific icons we needed in more or less the style we wanted. Then you just download them and add them to your site like you would any other icon. The images that you can make with ChatGPT are incredible for any business, but its newest capabilities go way beyond just that. So watch this video next, where I go over seven more absolutely insane use cases for the newest models of ChatGPT to help you get way more done in your business. I've never seen such a shift in something coming so far so fast. So click right here and watch it before your competition does. I can't wait to show you everything.